Hello, Corblund here. Welcome to What That Song Means Now. I'm going to take one of my songs each episode, take it apart a little bit for you, and tell you a little bit about the music, maybe, and how I wrote it, and why I wrote it, and what it's about, and cryptic hidden meanings, that kind of thing. Stick around. I know what that song means now. I heard him sing old blues and sing about. Hey, everybody. Welcome to. The latest episode, this this is going to be about uh, one of my brand new songs that's not released yet. It's called Getting Down on the Mountain. Uh, sneak preview, if you will. I'll play a little bit of it and then I'll talk about it a little bit. When the oil stops, everything stops, nothing left in the fountain. Nobody wants paper money, son, so you just will stop counting. Can you break the horse? Can you light the fire? What's it I beg your pardon? You best start thinking where your food comes from and I hope you tend the good garden. Getting down on the mountain, getting down on the mountain. Don't wanna be around when the shit goes down, I'll be getting down on the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> That's the opening track of the new record. The new record's called Cabin Fever. It's going to be out August 14th, a couple of months. And uh, that's the first song off it. It's called Getting Down on the Mountain. And it's about the end of the world, kind of. <laughs> I wrote the song, and, and I, I generally write a few songs every record based on just shit that I'm doing in my life. So, I don't know. I read this, um, I, read, I watched this movie called Collapse, and it's about the definite possibility of a <laughs> an imminent petroleum crunch or currency crash or even a blizzard or something but yeah got me thinking about canned food and ammunition <laughs> so I wrote this song it's funny because this is one of those songs that was boiling away in my brain for years really because I wrote I wrote the this little part like <laughs> that whole riff in the chorus. I wrote that years ago on the road with uh, a bluegrass band. Um, and then we play this show in, uh, in Steamboat Springs, Colorado every winter, every January. It's called Getting, uh, it's called uh, Music Fest and it's all Texas bands, the occasional Albertan band. We were, they were there every year, the last three or four years. And it's a really fun time, but it's like a mountain town, um, sort of like the ones we got in BC, but it's a mountain resort town. And originally, I wrote that little part to be like, you know, getting down on the mountain, getting down in a mountain town, getting down on the mountain, like a party song. And then it ended up being an end of the world song about getting down on the mountain when the shit hits the fan. <laughs> but uh, that's how that works sometimes. You just never know where they're going to go. I got tons of chunks of songs careening around in my brain all the time. But that's an interesting one. And... uh just to touch on a little bit of guitar nerdiness, um, this is an interesting one because I'm playing the, the D chord, it's in D, I'm playing the D chord in the chorus, like that, and it's an A shape, I'm on the 5th fret with the capo, so it's like the, an A shape, but it's actually D because of the capo position, but the interesting thing is it didn't really work to be minor or major, like, like, getting down the mountain. I didn't want it to be, to be minor, and I also didn't want it to be major because it's too happy. Like getting getting down on the mountain. So I just removed the third entirely, and it's just roots and fifths all the way through. And when there's no third, you can't tell if it's a major or minor chord. It just has, a, has an ambiguous flavor to it. So I'm just playing roots and this this is the fingering I'm using. It's just roots and fives all the way up. So it leaves the palette kind of ambiguous and you can kind of put blues blues thirds on it without committing yourself to minor so that's a little advanced if you don't play guitar a lot but but it's an interesting uh, little tidbit if you're a guitar player so that whole thing is just roots and fifths no thirds at all getting down on the mountain getting down on the mountain don't want to be around when the shit goes down if you're going to ground on the mountain So, new record, August 14th, Cabin Fever. Song's called Getting Down on the Mountain. You tell, tell friends, you tell ten friends, and they'll tell ten friends, and 
I'll learn to speak properly. All right. Well, my legs are both been shattered, and I know what that song means now. My sons have both been slaughtered, and I know what that song means now.